to get the. Uh... Well, give us a narrative here. What are you trying to do? All right. Well, so we got some new leaf springs for the uh, Cherokee, and uh, sadly they don't come with bushings. So we got to install the bushings into the leaf spring. I'm gonna try to use this ball joint press. Uh, it's very strong. And uh, I'm just gonna set it up and I think uh, be able to press this bushing right in. And uh, then we'll go on for the rest of the project. And it's gonna be pretty exciting. So just hang on one second here. Uh, safety glasses are recommended, but mine are uh, somewhere else. So we'll just see what happens. Okay, it's going in cockeyed. Okay, pretty good. All right, so uh, we gave up on the uh, ball joint press. Now we're using the uh, 20 ton uh, hydraulic press. We're going to press the bushing in. Uh, it's going to come out really good. You can see it's going in straight. Um, pretty effortless. What do you think there, Randy? I think, I think for you, it's very effortless. <laughs> All right, is this a prep? What, what kind of prep are you doing? All right, well, so basically what we're going to do here, uh, leaf spring's broken. So I'm doing a quick look to see what's going to catch on fire when we heat up the bolt and the nut that's holding the uh, front of the leaf spring on. So if that breaks off from the frame, uh, the scope of this project changes dramatically. Watch if you see smoke coming out of this area a lot, then we need to uh, dump some water there. Okay, so smoke out the top is bad. Yes. And it's like the spring is broken right here. That's what we're trying to fix. See right here is that, that little, uh, it's broken. Okay, so let's see. Right, it's okay. There it is. I like to get a real neutral flame. So get right up in there. Is that a carburizing flame? Uh, carbonizing. Caramel flavor. Okay, now I'm just heating up. You'll see smoke, that's okay. That's not a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. What I'm trying to do is get the nut red hot. Without lighting the power on fire. Too much. Who doesn't like who doesn't like red hot nuts? So uh, let's try the gun now. Let me grab the gun. What if I turn this fucker red? Turn it red.
getting hot in there. the uh, job's done there. <laughs> Nuts. That's a hot one. I'll oh, just get the wrench on there. It's a little, okay, it's a little tight. That's good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Not today. All right, so we need to get the gun on there. right there. Okay. So I think now we have to go up, suspend the rear end, and pull the spring out. I'm gonna pull this out. That's the money shot right there. Oh, there okay, see that? I don't think anything really bad has happened yet. Let's see if we can change that. Give uh, time. Something bad has happened already. Something bad has happened. That's good. Sorry. I think I zigged when I should have zagged. That thing looks kind of messed up. Compare the new spring to the old spring. Um, you'll see right here is a busted leaf. Uh, and the eyelet's busted. So here's the new spring. Uh, if we're lucky, it fits in. Uh, let's give it a try. We did a... One second, man, this is stuck in there really good. Let's get it. We just need this to go in, and then we're in pretty good shape. Just about there, but mm. busted stud. Bang. <laughs> Cranking down the U-bolts to like 45 foot pounds or whatever it says in that label I can't read. Tells you how tight to make them. Yeah. U bolt torque values uh, 92 foot pounds. 